Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Stacey. Today I'm going to teach you how to create micro content for your Instagram stories or your Facebook, things like that, to help drive traffic to your long form content like your YouTube channel or your podcast. Um, if this is something into, it'd mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button below and you can join my journey of becoming a content creator. Let's get into it. Let's go. need this oh yeah hey guys welcome back to another tutorial um, and today I'm going to teach you how to create micro content to help get you traffic to your long-form content whenever you create a long-form piece of content for example like a vlog or um, just some sort of video on YouTube what you want to do is actually create streams of, of short-form content underneath it that could be um, an IGTV post, an Instagram post, an email, uh, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, whatever it be, just a small segment of that video you've created to, to get people go to your um, long form content. Look at it being like um, a movie, right? So people have movies, what they then do is create little two, three minute teasers to give you an understanding what that movie's about. The same thing applies to your long form content. You wanna create little teasers to get people attracted to, to your videos or your podcast or whatever you're trying to get them to, to watch. So today I'm gonna to create some practical um, bit of tips and advice and help you create that content for your own channels. Now it's a three part section to it. So there's part one is your long form content which you've already created. Part two is a small version of, of, a, of a video in a 1080 by 1080 size. And then you've got your IGTV size. So that's the other side of it as well. So this video is gonna be about how to create the 1080 by 1080 size. And then I'll put the link in the description below and also up here about how to create the IGTV size. So um, rather than sitting through a 20 minute video, you get to break it down. Um, you can watch it whenever you want to. So you don't have to sit through the full one video. You can actually see the two videos and just go straight to the video that you wanna watch. So let's get into it. Hey guys, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. Um, this is the editing software that I use, but if you use any other form of editing software, that's totally cool as well. It's probably more the concept I wanna to talk to you through. Um, so how I edit my videos is through Final Cut Pro. So what I've done here is I've started a new project and what I've done, I've done it sized up as a 1080 by 1080 pixel. And how, what I've done here, I've, I've taken a section from my long form video and I've brought it down into the timeline. And you can see it's only about a minute 20 that I've used, because I just want to give a small snippet of the kind of content that's going to be in my long form video. So how I've done that, so what I've done here, you can actually see if I click on transform and I reset that, you'll see my, that my video only fits within this frame here. And you see there's a gap above and below the actual, um, the 1080 by 1080, but I actually want my video to fill up the full square for when we put it into the 1920 by 1080 footage for IGTV later on. So how I do that is that I grab the corner here and I pull it all the way out so it fits in the 1080 by 1080. Now it fits the top and the bottom and the sides. Now, yet yeah, although um, you're gonna cut out some of the side section here, that's okay, because as long as you've got the main part in the middle, or you may want to even edit it, you know, through through this timeline here, edit it so it does actually fit within the, within this box. But as long as it's 1080 by 1080, you can cut and edit it or just drag it out to the size that it makes sure it fits there properly. So I click on done. And you can see here, So it still looks okay there in that sequence. So if you drag it all the way across and have a, have a watch of that, um, you can sort of see it sort of fits in the middle anyway, so it doesn't look too bad. The other thing I've done as well, because I know it's going to um, only be a minute 20, I also want the audience to click the link in my bio. Because I don't have a swipe up, the only way I can sort of get them to go to the video is actually by saying, click the link in my bio. So what I've done there, I've added text here. So I've actually added, I've added what they call a type text, and this type text here um, just only lasts for probably about, what, seven seconds. So I've just put in here, um, click the link uh, in bio to see more, because I want the, the call to action is people to go to the link in my bio. 
What I've also done there is I've faded that out. So you'll see I've keyframed it here. So if I go over to here, the keyframe is at 100. So starting from 100, then I want to zero, it go all the way down to zero. And so if I click on that key keyframe, it goes all the way down to zero. And so how I do that is just actually just by adjusting that there from 100 all the way down to zero. And that looks like it's gone, it's faded out. So that's pretty straightforward, really easy, really quick to do, is just making sure that the size right is the most important part, is that going from a 1080 by a 1080. And then just do a small segment. It's up to you how long you have the segment. I've just got a minute 20, but you might want a two minute, whatever it is. Um, it's just enough to capture the audience and audience's attention and just to give them an indication of what your long form video is gonna be about. So like I say, imagine it being like a, um, like a teaser to a movie that you see usually. So sometimes you try and put your best parts in there and then just sort of really uh, capture that audience's attention to help drive traffic to your long form video. Cool, all right, so that's part one of the video.